Let's talk about one of my favorite topics, streaming HTML parsing, and a feature that was discussed at TPAC that will hopefully make this easy with single page apps. Now, the standard model of fetching content and putting it on the page is to fetch the response, get the text, then set the text as inner HTML. The problem with this is you need to receive all the content before doing anything with it, and that isn't making the most of how the web works. Like when you navigate to a page, the browser can render HTML as it's being downloaded. I've wanted a non-hacky solution to this for a while, and one was discussed at TPAC. This is another Google proposal, but it's already received input and changes by folks at Firefox and Safari. Here's the API. Fetch the response, so far so the same, but then take the response body and pass it through a streaming text decoder. This turns the bytes into text as it arrives, and then pipe the text into a new method on HTML elements, stream HTML unsafe. And that's it you get streaming HTML. Elements will start appearing in the container while the fetch is ongoing. Don't stress too much about the word unsafe there. It just means it isn't being forced through any kind of sanitizer, but you're not gonna use this on stuff that you 100% trust, right? The thing I'm pushing for with this feature is that it's made to process HTML as close as possible to the regular parser. And the big gap here is with how it handles script. For example, there are many, many ways to set HTML, and most of them will not execute script, like none of these logs actually log. If I try to give my blog some simple SPA navigations, this doesn't work for me, because I have inline demos that depend on inline script, and those won't run. There's one exception to this rule, and that's create contextual fragment, which is an API hidden away on DOM ranges. It will, for historical reasons, execute script. But just like if you create script nodes dynamically, these will both execute async, meaning there's no guarantee that script one will execute before script two. So that doesn't work either. The new stream HTML and save method has an option, run scripts. But even with this enabled, it's currently designed to run like create contextual fragment, as in the scripts execute async. So the thing I'm pushing for is to make this work like the HTML parser, execute scripts in order, and block the parser unless they're marked async defer or type module. Folks seemed happy with that idea, so we'll see how it goes. I'll post more as this API develops.